Well, hello and welcome to this latest video. In this video, we're going to look at installing Apache NetBeans 9 on Windows. Um, this will work on Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, etc., and Windows 10. Okay, um, a couple of things that you need to do before you actually start the download, or you can actually do it while you're doing the download, is you need to check your system. So the first thing is, let's go in and start the download. Now the address is netbeans.apache.org, and then download, and then index.html. The, the file you want is the binaries file here. Okay, this is the, the file you want. Uh, incubating NetBeans Java 9 bin zip. Okay. So if you click on it, it will take you to a download page and just select the mirror which is closest to you. Uh, in this case, it's this mirror here and we'll download it. This is coming down in um, Google Chrome and as you can see, it's going to take quite a long time. So what we'll do is we'll um, speed up the video when we get there. Okay, so while that's coming down, what do you need to do? Well, one of the first things you need to do is you need to find out which version, which operating system you've actually got on, on your computer. So open um, File Explorer and come down to where it says Computer. Right-click and click on Properties. Okay, the properties will open and as you can see, you get a lot of information, but the one you're wanting is system type 64-bit operating system. Okay, so this tell me, tells me I'm using the 64-bit operating system. So make a note of that and close. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you have the Java JDK installed on your computer. Okay. To check that, go to Local Disk C, go to Program Files, okay, go to Java, and as you can see, I've got both the JDK and the JRE installed. Okay, so I'm okay here. Now, if you haven't got the JDK, and it is important that you get the JDK, if you actually write JDK into your search bar, Okay, you'll come to the Java, it'll give you the, the correct page. Now, I would recommend that you download the um, version 8, but it's your choice. Version 10 seems to work fine. Okay, and when you come here, you've got to complete various pieces of information about your cookies. And so I shall submit my preferences. Okay, and close. Right. Now, the one we really want is this one here. Now, this is known to work very well with NetBeans. Um, so, this is the one I would recommend you download, okay, um, if you don't already have Java on your system. You can do the Java SE 10. That's not a problem, and if you wish to, to download that. Now, the version you want is the JDK, okay? So all you need to do is click on Download and then install it. Now, this needs to be installed before you install NetBeans, okay? So that's something you need to do first. So it's going to take uh, quite a long time. It seems that the Internet is very slow today. So what I'll do is I'll come back when this is finished downloading. Okay, now that's come down, as you can see um, here, and it's in a download folder. We now need to extract the files in um, the zip. Uh, so I have pzip, but um, if you right-click on it, you'll be able to uh, unzip it in your system. Okay, um, on mine, because I'm using pzip, 
I shall just extract it where it is. Okay, so now that is extracted. We need to change the name of the folder because that's a bit long. So what I recommend is just NetBeans 9.0. Oops. 9.0 and press enter. Okay, we now need to move this uh, file and the best place that um, I suggest for it is in the root of um, the C drive. So I'm going to click on cut. I'm going to open this and I shall paste okay so it's now in the base of the C drive so if you click on it and then come to bin and if you remember I'm using NetBeans I'm using the 64-bit operator uh, operating system so I shall use NetBeans 64 if you have a 32-bit operating system then use NetBeans.exe okay so I'm just going to click on this. I have NetBeans 8.2 on my system, so it will probably find it. When you click on it, you'll get the license agreement. So I click, I accept. Okay. And it's now found my previous version of NetBeans 8.2. So I can actually copy the information across from there. Um, I'm not going to do that for, for now so that you can see um, a clean setup okay and NetBeans will now start running okay so the NetBeans IDE is in the process of opening and it's asking whether I need to install um, the NB Java compiler and the answer is yes you do you need this so click on install okay click on next accept and install and it will download the plugin and install it and it will want to restart the IDE okay so click on finish and the IDE will restart okay so that's the IDE restarted this is a plain vanilla version of NetBeans 9 okay so it just has the Java items on it it doesn't have the HTML and that type of thing so if you want to actually add the HTML and uh, the C compiler and the PHP okay you need to add it to the tool so if you come into plugins okay so the plugins window is opened you can see that there are eight plugins none of the ones that we want 44 plugins have been installed and activated so we need to add the other ones because HTML and um, PHP aren't there so come to settings Okay, come down to add, and we'll just call this NetBeans 8.2 because that's where it's coming from. And then in the URL, paste in the following URL. Now I've put this in the notes below, so all you have to do is copy and paste. If you click on OK, um, you will see that. We've got a new version of NetBeans has just arrived. Isn't that good? I like this. Okay. We now have, anyhow, while we're waiting for that, we now have 63 new plugins. Now, I'll put a link below into a gist that I've created, uh, which will help you decide which new plugins to do for, say, PHP and um, HTML. And also, if you want the complete um, set of plugins as well, uh, which ones to do. So they'll be in the, the gist 
below. So that's all there is to it. We've got uh, an update to do. I'm just going to clo click close. So that's all there is to it. Um, you've now got NetBeans running on Windows. If you wish to add um, NetBeans to your start menu, okay, uh, there's two ways of doing this. Um, what I recommend that you do is you recommend I recommend that you put it in your personal um, menu uh, rather than in everybody's menu. And to do that, okay, you need and again the link is below. You need to open File Explorer. And then in File Explorer, just paste that link, okay, and it will take you to the Start Menu Programs, okay. So in here, click on New Folder, and then type in NetBeans 9.0. And press enter. Okay, now go back to your NetBeans 64, right click on it and click on create shortcut. On the shortcut, click on it, right click on it and click on cut. Go back again to your NetBeans 9 and paste it in. Okay, then you need to rename it. Okay, and here we'll just call it NetBeans IDE 9.0 and press enter. And there you have a shortcut on your start menu as well. Uh, my name's John. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.